Ultimate Hoops, are you there? All right, I'm here with Sean Richardson tonight. We're at Bloomingdale. We're gonna do a little uh, recap on the week. We got, we had some uh, good games last night. All right, I guess at uh, Schaumburg. But from what you saw, Sean, who stands out the most to you out of those six teams? I mean, eight teams next week. In uh, in Schaumburg, I'm thinking Fast and the Furious stand out the most. Uh, they got one of the best best uh, inside presence and. Um, Jasker Demby, and then they got Corey Little, a newcomer. Well, he's he's been he's been in uh, Ultimate Hoops before, but he uh, took a few years off. And um, I just really I, I think the dynamic of that team kind of sets them apart from everybody else thus far. Just just from viewing one game. Okay. Um, do you have a clear front runner for MVP this season at Schaumburg? I don't have a, a clear front runner. Um, I'm thinking probably Nick Cordero. Um, I think he's one of the toughest people to guard because of his size and uh, he can spread the he can spread the floor. Uh, he rebounds with the best of them and he can he can defend the paint. I just uh, he might be the best big man all around at lifetime. So um, I think Nick Cordero might get the MVP of the season. What about rookie rookie of the year? Rookie of the year, I'm thinking uh, there's a guy by the name of Andre Muse who I actually played with in college. Um, he's probably one of the better players I've ever seen play with my own eyes, and I think I think he'll probably be rookie of the year over in Schaumburg. Okay. We lost a couple uh, big-time defenders in uh, Willie Clark and um, Mike McGahey this season, so who's going to step up and be that, that uh, defender that shuts teams down? I think, um, I think Fred Taylor is probably going to win defensive player Defensive player of the year. Is this by default, Fred? By default? Not by default. I just think he's the best off-ball defender. Uh, he can he can get up to six blocks in a single game. He can get up to five, six steals in a single game. Um, when he when he puts effort into it, nobody can really score on him. So I, I think he'll he'll probably get defensive player of the year this season. Okay. Um, let's slide over here to to Bloomingdale a little bit then. We got uh basically. Same teams that we've we've had around here for a while, you know, and dropped a couple with the summer, some college guys going back and whatnot. But uh, from what I saw, I feel like it could come down to Lake Show, and that's what she said. What do you think about that? I think that would be a really good matchup. Um, I'm hearing uh, No Size has a few new p players, a uh, player by the name Mike Rose and uh, another player that you played with, who I think um, Mike Rose, who I think might be might give Brian Evans a run for his money for the MVP this season. Um, definitely rookie of the year. So I think you can throw no size in the mix as well. Uh, All Black Everything has a few good players, John Shadipo, Bobby Rhodes, who, who, didn't, who, who weren't present tonight. But uh, if, they, if they show up consistently, that's going to be a very tough team to face as well. So, uh, Let's rewind it a second here. Who did you say? You, you don't think this is going to be a Brian Evans MVP again this season? I said I think Mike Rose can give him a run for his money. Now I, I'll never discredit Brian Evans ever. He, he, you know, missed a triple double every night, 20, 15, nine. You know, so can't really say he won't get it. But I'm just saying that there, there's other players out there that might give him a give him a little competition. Okay. Um, defender and rookie of the year, go. Uh, Mike Rose, rookie of the year. Um, defender. I mean, it doesn't show up in the stat sheet, but I'm thinking Jason Hayes or maybe Ennis. Ennis is uh, on my team. He's a very good. He's a very good defender. So one of the, one of those two guys probably have my vote for for uh, defensive player of the year. Um, all right, let's uh, let's slide this over to Lucas quick with his uh, post game interview, and we'll come back, put you on the on the hot seat. All right. Ultimate Hoops, I'm here with Lucas Carandros. Lucas, you guys uh, came up a few five points short tonight. What do you think was the key? I've heard a lot of things about this uh, legacy basketball, a little, few complaints. How do you feel about it? I mean, it's just going to take some time to, to adjust to it. You know, we're all used to playing with Evolution, so playing with this ball, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to take a little time to adjust to it. I think that's just going to be uh, the big thing for us. Do you feel like that w that uh, had any impact on how well you shot the ball tonight? I mean, 
Last night... Ball's the ball, right? Ball's the ball, yeah, and all shooters know not to blame the ball or the rim or anything like that. But, I mean, like I said, it's just going to take time to adjust to it. What uh, What are some other... What what happened tonight? What do you see in the team? What do you guys got to get better at? I, you know, first game of the season is always a warm-up game. That's what we say. First game, always a warm-up. We'll pull it together uh, down the stretch. Um... What about a Schomburg? How do you feel about that team over there, your team over there? My team is – I actually have uh, – I'm actually very excited about it this season. You know, we, we lost Mike McGahey and his brother Fats. So – but, I mean, we added a big piece in Ryan Harris this season. So I think, uh, think scoring is not going to be a big issue for us this season. Okay. Lucas, I asked Sean this question. Tomorrow's Wednesday, Women Crush Wednesday. What's your uh, – who's your woman? Put you on the spot here. I had to throw that one in there. My Women Crush Wednesday. No hesitation. Let's go. Go. Probably Jennifer Aniston. Okay. There it is. Jennifer Aniston. Good choice. Good choice. All right, Elton Hoops. Send Lucas off. He's got to sleep after this tough loss. But uh, we'll see him next week. Come back stronger, right? Absolutely. We'll come back. Mm -hmm. well, we're good. Stay there. I'll interview him after this. All right, Sean. New LC here at Schaumburg this season. So we're going to have to give... Uh, let the people know a little bit about you. So let's, uh, let's start off with, what's your favorite cereal? What do you wake up and eat in the morning? Or do you cook yourself a nice little gourmet meal? Well, actually, in the morning, I like to have a few egg whites, you know. A few egg whites, I dice up a little tomato, you know, cut up a little avocado, throw that on top, you know. Maybe a little cayenne pepper, just for a little spice. Uh, favorite cereal, though, I'm going to have to go uh, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. All right. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. You know what that means. What does Wednesday mean usually on Instagram? Woman Crush Wednesday. Who you got? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Olivia, Olivia Wilde. From, uh, you ever seen House? Oh, yeah. 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 Thinking Olivia, Olivia Wilde. That might be the WCW for the week. You seen Rush? No, I haven't seen her. Oh, she's in Rush. She's good in that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like her. The br the brunette with the blue eyes gets me every time, so. Favorite TV show? I mean, you like, what do you got? Real Housewives, uh, Real World. Uh, I got House. Uh, are we talking on on television, or could it be like a HBO thing? Uh, yeah. Anything that's on cable TV, if you've got to buy HBO, whatever. I'm thinking uh, House, even though it's not airing anymore, Chopped. Is uh, one of my one of my favorites. Uh, Game of Thrones. Got to watch Game of Thrones. Uh, I, I loved Breaking Bad. Sons of Anna. There's too many. I can't just choose okay, one. Okay. Family Guy. I Top can't. one. You got to pick one. Chopped. 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 That's a cooking show, right? Cooking show. I could watch that all day, every day. All yeah. day. Impress some women, huh? Try to, man. I throw that on Instagram too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, what about favorite Ultimate Hoops player? Favorite. They have to be playing this season. They have to be a favorite current Ultimate Hoops player. Um, it's, it's kind of a tough one. Um, I might go. Uh, ah, can I choose Mark? I can't choose Mark. Um, all right. Favorite Ultimate ho Hoops player. I'm gonna go Andre Muse. Because your teammates? Teammates, and uh, I just think he's the most talented player in Ultimate Hoops currently that I've, that I, that I've witnessed with my own eyes. So okay. I'm going to go Andre. All right. Final. Okay. Two questions. What does, what does never retire mean to you for Ultimate Hoops? Never retire means, I mean, just keep going. Keep going. Don't, don't stop. There's no quit. I mean... There's a lot of, a lot of people out there who say that their body can't do it or their schedule conflicts. But so if, you, if, you, if you really believe in never retiring, that means that you, you got a love and a passion for this game and this is part of your life. So if you, if you retire, you're not just quitting the game, you're quitting your life. Okay. Never retire. Is Sean Richardson going to be playing at age 60? Hopefully 65. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Final question. Number one on Sean Richardson's bucket list. Number one on Sean Richardson's bucket list. Um, 
go overseas for a few months and learn different cuisines, like go to Spain, France, somewhere somewhere besides, you know, the U.S., North America, and uh, just, just get, a, get a different culture, f find out how different people are living and, and learn, learn different flavors and, and how to cook, because I love cooking myself, so okay. that's number one. All right, well, there it is, Sean Richardson cooking it up here on the UH Hot Seat. Coming in as our new league coordinator this season at Schaumburg. Um, we're going to slide it over to Romeo, or, uh, Sh Warren, Warrenville now, and we'll see you next week at Schaumburg and Bloomingdale. Ultimate Hoops, I'm here, Warrenville tonight. I'm here with Kevin Green. Kevin, uh, it's your first interview ever? Right, it's my first interview ever. First interview <laughs> ever. All right, you're not camera shy though, right? I'm not camera shy at all. Okay. Uh, Kevin, you guys had a good week this week, not so much this week. Um, what do you think was the difference between this week and last week? Um, last week, you know, we we're you know we're we're not the biggest team here. So last week, we thought we could maybe run up and down, get mix, uh, get like in a mix and match uh, tempo. And then with this week, obviously, the Los Amigos, they're a big team. So I mean, it just came down to rebounding, um, just second chance points, and they killed us with that in the game. You got uh, any recruiters out there on the on the trails trying to find you a big man at all? Oh, uh, you know, we're, <laughs> we're working on it. Um, you know, hopefully we can find somebody that can give us some size inside, give us a big boost. So, I mean, hopefully we'll find somebody. All right. Kevin, I'm going to do a little little thing called hot hot seat right now, ask you a few questions here. So, we're going to start right at the top here. Who's uh, It's Women Crush Wednesday. Uh -huh. Who's your uh, Who's your crush? Skylar Diggins, baby. Skylar Diggins. Um, she's just a beautiful woman and she can ball. So, definitely Skylar Diggins. Good choice. Hopefully, uh, I think hopefully I get a day with her in the future. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to invite her to the league night one of these nights, huh? We'll, her, huh? Yeah, we'll get her a front row seat right over here. <laughs> Maybe an Ultimate Hoops jersey. Yeah, hopefully. Well, she can wear my jersey. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> um, what, who is your favorite NBA player? Uh, Chris Paul. Chris Paul? Chris Paul. I try, how, to, how I try to play my game like him. Um, he's, just, he's just a pure point guard. He gets everybody involved and... He can push the tempo, and I feel like I was able to do that last week. So I'm trying to bring that to the table this, uh, this season. Okay. Um, you didn't play last season, but you played before. So you know a, a number of different guys in this yeah. league. Who's your favorite UH player? Uh, Doug Lambert. That man is just uh, – he can just score. I, I feel like he's like Kobe Bryant in the uh, U-Hoops. He just can flat out fill it up, and, you know, I love his game. I like uh, Boom Squad's Mike Avalon. I like him too. He's a pretty good player. And um, yeah, those are my two favorite players. I like. Watching. Are you from Chicago? Uh, outside of Chicago, but yeah. So, uh, is, are the Bulls your favorite team? Yes, I'm a diehard Bulls fan. Uh, I'm rooting for them this year. Yeah, big yeah. thing, big things coming, baby. Big things yeah. coming. The return? The return, yes. <laughs> three, three, okay. return three. All right. Um, what? What's your pregame ritual? Break it down for us. Uh, I like to listen to Rick Ross. Drake before my game uh, just to get my mind right. Um, usually I'll ride the bike for 10 minutes before a game just to just to get my mind loose and probably 20 minutes before the game I'm just relax, try to you know take my mind over things, think about how the game's gonna go, um, just try to get a good sense of what's gonna happen. Um, final question: What is your favorite animal? <laughs> uh, you know what? I I'm, I love dogs. I love dogs. You know what? I'm not accepting dogs for anything. Can't be dog. Can't be cat. Uh, okay, okay. A tiger. A tiger? A tiger. Or a lion. A tiger and a lion. Okay. Yeah. I like, I, since I'm little, I like to have the eye of a tiger and the heart of a lion. There we go. Yeah. All right, Ultimate Hoops here. We're here with uh, Alex. Uh, last week, you had a superb game, scored 44 points. Uh, how do you feel that's going to go going on to the rest of the season? We just got it's more the team ball to be honest we, we didn't have a good game none of us can make any of the shots and i mean we all had a good game last week but this week we had to come out much better it's just, let's fly it. let's just fly it. so um how do you feel about this league do you, do you think it's pretty competitive or is it uh lacks of days out there like what do you think about the competition? Oh, the competition's very good and everything. It kind of reminds me of high school a little bit, like how the speed a little bit, but then it starts scratching get slower. But it's good competition. I would say it's really good. So going forward, how, how many points do you think you're going to average this year? Uh, I didn't have that good of a game. So uh, let's, let's hope we keep – we just need to keep the wins. I care about the wins. I don't care about the points as much. I just want the wins. It's all I want. So, so you're looking for the MVP this year? I don't know. I don't know. It's, 
I care about those wins more than those MVPs. All right. So this is a Celebrity Wednesday. We want to know your favorite celebrity uh, female. Who, who, who is it? I have to say Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba by far. <laughs> All right, Jessica Alba, that's a good choice, good choice. Um, how, how do you feel about today's game? I mean, you had a kind of tough loss. You guys were losing bad, and then you came back. Do um, you think you, you're going to be able to get it together next week? Oh, we'll get it, get, get it together. This built-up anger is going to be boiling for the next week. We should have played zone earlier because they're not the greatest shooters, but they, they were making their shots. I'll get them credit on that. They were making their shots. But, yeah, I think uh, if we just play zone next game, we'll get the W. So, uh, who's your favorite NBA player? I know uh, many Bulls fans are going to hate me for saying this, but Carmelo Anthony, my favorite. I, I love the way he plays. Carmelo's a good choice, good choice. He plays no defense, but he, but he scores buckets, right? He scores buckets. I mean, I like that. He's entertaining to watch. I'd rather watch him than LeBron. That's All right. Thanks for being here at Ultimate Hoops today. Right. Thank you very much. Um, you guys just came off a good victory here. Um, adding Jake to your team seems like a real big plus. How do you feel about that? Man, it's a good thing I got him, man. We needed, we needed a guard, point guard. Uh, you had a really good, uh, you had a pretty, you had a tough game last week. You guys almost pulled it off. Um, it was close. Um, the competition in this league seems uh, really good. What do you think about um, no size last week that you guys played? I mean, they're a pretty tough team, man. Uh, I mean, we got size and everything, but other than that, we can take them this season. So seeing the, the competition last year and then coming into this year, how, how do you think the league looks now? It's a little bit more competitive, man. Uh, we got our same squad, Los, Los Brothers. <laughs> That's all we call it, all Los Brothers. We were back. Um, like you so, see, man, I got a scar on my face. <laughs> so this is a celebrity cele celebrity Wednesday. Uh, we want we want to know uh, who your uh, favorite celebrity uh, female is. Crush, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> okay, okay, we we like her. We like her. So uh, how about who, who's your favorite NBA player to watch? Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk, Dirk. Uh, you got similar game to him in a way. You look like him too, man. <laughs>